I mean, we can see if the radiant guy loses the block, then we'll figure out what is OP. If it's radiant yeah. or if it's blocking. Okay. Shadowfin and Shadowfin gets picked. Also, I want to point out that um, whoever's playing radiant right now, All right, I think Dundee. it's Dendi. The Arcana also won, so let's keep that in mind. Dendi has one. Okay, they okay. both do. Oh boy, Ooh. it's oh gonna boy. be tough. So then we have to look at the. What happens if the block is even? The arcana is even, then what? <laughs> then <laughs> then they might as tie. well just quit. Yeah, this game's going 60 minutes. Yes. It's like the OD game at TA3. There was a 1v1. Okay, you're probably actually right that we at BTS have cast our fair share of 1v1. <laughs> <laughs> like, the more I think about it, it's like, okay, we did our BTS 1v1 tournament, we did the Peaceful summit. of tangles, for a few tangles We more. also, like, casted these random, like, these Chinese tournaments which had 1v1s. Like, all the Chinese tournaments have 1v1s. Yeah. And there was one, I think it was like an ECL or, or something, they had a... It was when FY won the 1v1 tournament back when he was playing, I mean, still playing support, but yeah. he beat all like your top solo mid players, and uh -huh. there was a 50 minute plus 1v1 <laughs> match in that with Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend versus Shadow? It was him versus. Wait, how many kills? Was that two kills as well? You, it was one kill, first blood. Oh my how can you God. not push the tower? At I some point. Well, did they have, like, Scotty, Daedalus? Like, what the <laughs> hell items did they have at that point? Holy crap. I think he said you don't farm that much by only farming no, one lane. that's you true. Your farm is actually... Oh, you can't go into the jungle at all, right? No. I mean, the best you can get farming the lanes is about 250 yeah. GPM, something like that. I think that was when he beat CTY in the final. That was when CTY was, like, hyped up as being, like, the best mid player ever. He was, like, the, the Chinese RTZ. Okay, question for you, David. Do you, I, I, I'm, uh, you play Dota 1 a little bit. A little bit. Four and a half years. That's a little bit. I play <laughs> seven. Shut up. Okay. Okay. Um, seven? Seriously? Yeah, yeah. What year did you start? 2005. So you started the year Ice Frog took over? Into the matchup. <laughs> <laughs> Mushi and Dendi. Coincidence? Are going to be. Oh, it's. It's, it's, it's a tie block. It's a tie. It's slightly mushy, but yeah. then he gets the first hit. It's going to be very, very even. Yeah. But what I wanted to say is, how do you feel about doing EM on one v one matches? Mm. Remember, they they, mm. took th they didn't take that away for a long time. Yeah, I yeah. started out in EM. Yeah, I don't know. EM still exists. EM is still exists in Dota it One. Does? It's not in Dota. Oh. I'm surprised. I remember a couple of years ago, just there was a small discussion. I was like, well, I yeah. don't see why. You think of how many players preferred that back in Dota One. Yeah. yeah. It made the game just end fast. I was I was all for having it because I never really well, played it. I think we're getting so. people into Dota is actually a really good yeah. thing. Because uh, you get farm, you get to actually use items. It's more exciting. I think the counterpoint at that point was that um, EM. For the people who don't know, EM, you get double the gold per second. Uh, you level up almost Faster. twice as fast. Yeah. And the towers give more gold. Yes. Uh, and have uh, no sorry no not give more gold have less HP and do less damage and as well. do less damage so, you can so, take towers. so it's a much more aggressive faster version like you can normally be six slotted thirty minutes into the game it's yeah. really fun you can play five carries and get away with it five uh, towers yeah of course yeah. there's less skill involved because even if you're doing poorly you're getting a lot of gold uh, it's league in Dota as well kind yeah, of kind of um, the 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 reasoning or one of the counterpoints for not putting it in Dota too was that at the beginning of the game there's so many there's so few people that if you segregated them between people playing EM and people playing uh, non EM you have longer queue times and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, it it was on the files at some point there was uh, an easy mode option okay. but it never materialized as a Yeah, I don't think I think it would be a mistake to bring it to matchmaking or something like that. But maybe like the first if it's the first time playing they get the chance to play it for what? how X amount of time. Like unranked matchmaking. Unranked matchmaking What's EM would be fun I think. I feel like it's so like how there's ARDM. You can do unranked. You can search for ARDM. You should be able to search for. All right, for people like mode. people that have been playing it for a while, I think that's fine. But look at it from the perspective, and this is my perspective since this is how I started. I played easy mode for a long time. Transitioning to normal mode is actually awful. Oof, it's it so is hard. awful. You don't want to do it. No, it's point. so hard. I it should be made clear when you first start playing that it's not. I mean, it I don't think it should. Be it's not representative yeah, of yeah. the actual game of Dota. Plus, if you play easy mode a lot, people make fun of you. Yeah, yeah, nobody wants You're that. You're a noob, playing EM. Yeah. Easy mode noob. <laughs> Learn to play. I think the negatives m might outweigh the positives yeah. in the end. It's yeah. There's I still an argument still to be a had, a I think. A fun thing. Yeah. Maybe in custom lobbies, and that's it. Anyways, I'm, I'm personally very grateful that I actually learned to play on normal mode because I feel like it would take me a lot longer to get good at Dota if I'd started with easy mode. Like I My friends are like, we're not playing easy mode, we're teaching you how to play on normal mode. I Is that why you still use uh, legacy keys? Probably, yeah. L I mean, I. QWER's easy mode, guys. Yes. 
I, just, I mean, you played Dota One for so long. You just, I'm just used to. Did I don't, I don't know the order of skills. Like, I don't know what the first, second, third skill is on so many heroes. So I wouldn't know what the so Q weird. is for a hero. Like, someone so says X hero is Q. I'm like, what spell is that? Is that like I know the hot key for every spell? But what if you say uh, like a three one two? Somebody go or like a one one two? I don't know. For you some don't. Heroes. Wow, that's unbelievable, actually. Really? Yeah. No, I would say when I say some heroes, I mean like maybe one in ten heroes. Okay. Maybe one in twenty, but there's so some every heroes time, I wouldn't know the order. Every time skills. you're in a cast and somebody says a one one two, you're like, wait a second. <laughs> let's look, look at this. Here. Let's <laughs> look at it and see what comes <laughs> first, second, and third. Interesting. Interesting. The way yeah. I learned the hero, like the heroes and spells, was just by each spell's individual. Hop. Right. How do you feel this match is going, by the way? Um, what do the numbers tell us? Well, twenty-two seven <laughs> versus seventeen eight, right? right. So. Blue's well, winning. That the is block, really telling. The block <laughs> was in Dendi's favor very slightly because the range creep got Dendi killed right off the bat, right? Yep. So it so could be three in a row then, huh? Mm -hmm. With the blocks. And the Radiant. Yeah, true that. What so. do you think about their color choices? I remember 1v1s in Dota 1, you always choose which of the five I colors I you I want to point out that you can't choose colors in the... Okay. I want to point out three things. You can't choose colors on 1v1s. You always go to the first color. Uh. Regardless... Dendi chose the third position in the lobby. He yeah. loves playing Wanted purple. purple. Okay. He likes playing purple in general. And number three, remember how awesome it was in Dota 1? Your hero would be colored based yep. on the color that you had. Yep. So if you were like the Shadow Fiend and you were purple, you have like slight purple hints. Nothing that would really change the color scheme of the hero, but stuff that would say, I'm purple. And there were heroes that looked really cool in some specific mm -hmm. color. Omnite Yellow was the bomb. Yeah. <laughs> what you what have your favorites then. Huh? So what would be your guys' go-to colors here? 1v1 SF, let's say in theory, your hero would be colored that and you could choose a color. Uh, I played blue most of my life because I had a server and I hosted. Okay. Uh, I'd go brown because everybody hated that color. <laughs> no, you, that comes from Han. Brown, <laughs> orange, You also scum. have a thing they for, didn't, wait, they for didn't have brown? matter. That's true. No, they did have brown, but yeah. like the, the idea of colors being associated uh, yeah, with... With MMR? Yeah, that's yeah. true. I was, was a light blue kind of guy. You're a light blue, so blue. You, 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 were the the best fr slot. you were the best friend of the guy that made people play. Because in general, like, there's a guy that's no, the no, most... No, uh, no, not, not, not the, the dire side light blue, the pale blue. Yeah, that's the second one. Like, oh. you get blue, and then you get no, no. light blue. It's the second color. Well, that that, that it's, means it's teal. It's blue. Okay, blue... What Whatever do you, you want to call it. What do you call the blue on the dire side? The dire side blue. The third slot on the dire. So there's I'd have to look. Pink, I can't remember. gray, and then there's that light blue. Yeah, the other light blue. Yeah, you can call teal. Yeah, one is, one okay, is so you're light blue. The dire of the light yeah, blue. Yeah, one is light blue, blue and okay, one is never mind. teal or turquoise or whatever yeah. you want to call it. Yeah. I call the radiant one teal or yeah, turquoise. Light blue to me is the dire I think dire cyan side. might be the actual cyan. term for no, it, No, right? it's more teal than cyan. I know colors. Oh, okay, that's true. That's a good point. I would trust Bruno in colors. I just don't choose to name them because if I go and saying, "Oh, it's mm. the salmon-colored mushy," people will look at me. It's periwinkle sea blue. <laughs> periwinkle <laughs> sea. <laughs> so uh, Dendi's crushing, by the way. I, I just looked up. Yeah. I haven't actually been watching this game. Oh, crushing, not crashing. Okay. Yeah, you know, in Spanish, crushing. you can't recognize sometimes the U sound and the A sound. So crushing and crashing sounds the same, and it's completely the opposite. If he was crashing, yeah, he'll be falling in shambles. But he's crushing. How my how what's Mushi's level? Is he keeping up in level at least? Ooh. Nope. He's level three level rays. Behind. He's gonna have to hope for uh, like a kill at level seven. I feel. Yeah. Mushi's gonna have to go for the like Yolo point in ulti, maybe at level eight even, just so he can catch Dendi by surprise with some extra damage. I don't I don't know. When you're this far behind. You're yeah, in that is also the thing about these kind of matchups. It's you start snowballing and it's very very hard yeah. to come back. Uh, you still can get your farm based on. My. Oh my goodness! Oh wow! Was that what like we're saying? Wow! So he had like the the Z X C race. Did he have like an extra race, like the V race there? Because yeah. that looked <laughs> that looked so. Here we so go with the legacy the keys again. The, <laughs> the Mushi fourth raise. Like <laughs> I didn't realize SF had a fourth raise because that's Glyph. what that looked like. <laughs> Glyph, Glyph. Dendi got pretty cocky with that uh, regen oh. in his bottle. Didn't even get to use it. Yeah, Not I think Glyph. he's like I've got such a big advantage if I play greedy and. Get the most out of this, like use all my HP and mana, and Mushi uses his like use an extra raise. He gets an even bigger advantage, but he got way. Well, too that grand. advantage is all by but yeah. gone right now. It's forty-three so to forty-one. That also gives Mushi a big tower. I mean, Ooh. we've seen Mushi yes. rat to victory on this shadow finger. And he's finger. also a level advantage now. He used to be level yeah. six, now he's level eight. Oh man, he and could uh, actually. Dendi. Hmm. What's the rune? Do you okay. think he get the kill with this invis? It's just a bounty. So Mu Dendi knows it's like a it's 
It's a, a normal non rune. Yeah. yeah, it's a haste invis, and you won't see. What okay, color would you call that. the bounty rune? Orange. Yeah, I would call it orange. People have disagreed with me though. It's kind of yellowish, uh, but illusion is yellow, so. Yeah, it can't be yellow, right? Yeah, yellowish orange. orange. We'll just go. Tan. With orange. You call it tan. Tan? No, tan uh, is tan is my like beige almost. John yeah, kill. Man, we've talked about a lot of colors. <laughs> yes. Also, you have to, I mean, different parts of the, like, at least looking at the bottle, like, it, it has a fade going. So I feel like one side of the boundary is not the same color as the other side. Yeah, that's true. But a the combination. region is green all around. The invis is purple all around. The haste is red all around. Is the invis really, it's not full purple. It's like a, it's like a combination. What are you going to call it? Lilac? No, no, no. It's like a faded purple. Whatever color oh, wha that would be. What? Indigo? Eh, it's not bad. Okay. We can go with indigo. What's your favorite color, Bruno? I don't understand why that is a question. It is a question. It's like <laughs> having a favorite <laughs> number! Okay, double race, no Ooh. third race, then he Wait, has to... Where's the fourth race, Mushi? Yes. Yeah, the V race. Man, he's put a lot of that damage should be, That should be his ultimate. That should be his Ag Scepter upgrade. Accept the upgrade for you get a fourth and a fifth race, not just a. Because <laughs> I feel like a fourth race isn't a big enough. Wait, buff where would the no fourth no and no fifth no race no be? No, 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 no. I, I like it. Like you get a fourth targetable race. Yeah, as an acceptor upgrade, you mean? As an acceptor yeah. upgrade. So you get like kind of like a Lina stun, uh, but not a stun, of course. Like, right? Hey, you you target whatever you want. Oh, target! I, like you target the area. Yeah. Okay, I was thinking like you have a. Mm. Fourth and fifth range, which were like a different range. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm saying like you get. What okay. the hell would you bind with that? <laughs> that's that's where the skill. That's comes. where uh, the legacy D. kills <laughs> skills D. come into play, huh? D. So select so Q W for his raises. Uh, that's right. He has, right. He has two passives. Or D or F. Q W and yeah, yeah, then some D. Yeah, D. Oh, this could be big. Although Mushi, getting close to taking out this tower. Oh boy. He could just dive it at some point. He just needs to get like a. He needs to be full HP and get like a haste or a DD rune, and he wins the game. And yeah. he. Well, he's, he's gonna. Oh, Cardi might get this himself. Radiance Cardi. No, the fortify. Ooh, he should have glyphed before when he was dead. I'm surprised he yeah. glyphed then. Dendi's Stay. coming from behind. Then, uh, Mushi okay, Mushi's Mushi's just, be a Mushi good just goes. Yeah. He's gonna be a good sport. He doesn't nah, win. nah. He's not gonna be a good sport. He's tournament he wants on all the, the line. Glory. You're gonna win. You're gonna go down. You're gonna go to the forest. You're gonna just go there. There's no glyph. One hit and you win. To be fair, he did first blood Denny. I mean, most people's mind, you get the first kill, you win. So. Yeah. But I, I see no shame whatsoever in ratting this is out. He, is he <laughs> going for the loop-de-loop? -loop? <laughs> well, there's no runes. So okay. maybe. <laughs> no, he, can, he can literally... <laughs> Dendi knows he's going <laughs> to cut him off. <laughs> Dendi needs to... He can literally ignore Dendi. Did okay, he just ran out? Oh, this could be it. Oh, he misses the third one. He could just yeah. still go and just take it. Yeah. He can, he, there's no glyph. Oh man, then he needs an observer. He, gets yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to like hide in the trees and wreck get like a full damage requiem. This is where you just sell all your items and buy. He doesn't have scepter. requiem. Oh, this might be it. Oh, Dendy's got no idea. It's gonna take Mushi, please. Just one hit. Don't even need a second one. He might oh, actually get the kill. Oh, is everywhere. Raises don't oh, want to have a tower. Okay. Just the one. GG. Mushi takes the championship. Mushi chai. Dendi kind of pulled a Havost with that regen rune. Got yeah. really cocky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was too ahead for his own good. Try to be a sport. Give a little bit of wiggle room to Mushi. Mushi, you give him the hand, he takes your elbow. Yeah. So that's going to wrap up the 1v1 tournament for this exciting Dota 2 Asian championship. <laughs> There's some real Dota coming up next. There's some real Dota coming up next. What's coming up next, Gods? Um, we have a bracket we can look at. It's going to be Big God versus Rave and Secret versus Cloud9. Which one comes first? That's a good question. Big, Big God, God versus Rave, because we're going to okay. save the best for last. Okay. So the brackets look like this. Not like this. L we look like this. We look like this. It kind of looks like a Batman logo, if you think about it, Shannon. I actually have a Batman logo on my chest itself. The hair forms a Batman ah, logo. I thought it was a tattoo. That's You've seen it in the tub. Come on. I remember it. But it was wet, so it kind of like That's looked more like <coughs> fell right into that one. It's going to be Big God versus Rave and Team Secret versus Cloud9. That's going to be the last two matches of the day. Whoever wins is secured top four and is going to play whoever wins the other one. The winner of that is going to play the losers of Vichy Gaming versus EG, which are going to be placed for a placement in the grand finals. There's no advantage for coming in the winner bracket, so there's no shaming losing. The only advantage that you have is that you play one less game. You uh, know, actually, I 
Okay, we talked about how Vici versus Secret might have been kind of like the finals, yes. the precursor. I think it might be an advantage. I was going to say this at the time for the loser because they learned something coming into yep. it. They have more incentive. Vici is just going to be sitting back now. If Secret ends up going to the finals, I think I might pick Secret over Vici. Also, I would pick Starlighter really with uh, Secret EG at Starlighter Season Ten, mm. where they met in the winning bracket final. EG got crushed by Secret and then came back from the lower bracket. We we talk about how being the loser gives you an advantage because you learn from your mistakes, but being the winner gives you an advantage because you're better. You won. Yeah. Uh, but I mean it wasn't like one of those series where you're like, okay, they're definitely way better. It was it was a good series. I think it was an advantage in Starlight Season 10 because there was two clear top teams. At this tournament, you dropped down to the lower bracket final, you suddenly got to beat... Some, oh, well, for Secret, they're not even in the winning bracket final, but for Secret, they've got to go through EG. They've got to go through Cloud9. So yeah. it's not like there's a clear top Ooh, two and you lose... You're guaranteed to get to no, the I'm grand saying, finals. No, okay, I'm not saying it's an advantage to lose per se. I'm saying if they make it to the finals, it's going to end up being an advantage that they already played them. They know each other better. Yes. They have. It's like having practiced I mean, look the at best it this of way. scrims. We're going to say Vici and Secret are similarly skilled, similarly powerful, right? Okay. What's the chances of Vici winning two best of threes in a row as opposed to them splitting? Okay, here's the thing. That's, I'll, not, I'll, how I'll, that's not how probability works. Yeah. It's it's unreal. But but no, it's, like, it's like if you flip the coin ten times around its heads, what's the chance that the next one's head? I'm not it's still talking. 50%. I'm not talking about RNG. Yeah. That's not what I meant by RNG. No, what you're saying is it's not RNG. It's just if both teams have 50-50 chance, each individual match is a 50-50 chance. Like Vici does not have less of an advantage because they already won the other one. Well, I'm just saying if they're similarly skilled, the chances right, are I did still I did say chance. I didn't mean I didn't mean it to go in the RNG route. That's not okay. what my intention is. But okay. oh look, it's TA. Her secrets are out there. Everybody just goes silent. <laughs> 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 I want to see the Queen of Pain Meepo from <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> suddenly, uh, suddenly the squeaky <laughs> bagula. <laughs> uh, but anyways, VG secret. I want I want to put it in a different way. Mm. Every winner bracket match is a scrim. It's not a serious match. You're just playing. You want to win because it's a scream. You want to win. But if you it's lose... It's like a $100,000 scream, though. No, it's not. That's the thing. You mm, lose. You don't? You go to a loser bracket. And now the real tournament oh, begins. Oh, I mean, you, you win a winner bracket semifinals. You go from top six to top three, though. That's still a, a scream. A it's a good big scream. increase in your guaranteed prize money. But if you lose, you don't lose. I mean, you don't necessarily but lose But you money. don't secure it. Like, you have to... Uh, you you lose a life. It's like... You have to who doesn't take risks in life? See, that's you, haven't played, you haven't played Yats with us. When you play Yats with us, you always secure the bonus. Yeah, That's rule number having one. Having an extra life is bonus. actually a really good way to put it. Vici, if they make it to the finals, they still only have one life to give. That's yes. the weird thing about... I mean, I yeah. don't like giving a game advantage either. It's like no actual scenario how, how that works Do you out, like the, the extended series where you... Well, not extended series, not the word. But it's like the double series where you play a best of three. No, because then... The a team there might only be two games. Yes, I don't like that's that. that's yeah. a crappy thing. I, I think, don't think it's there's a good bad scenario. for. I think it's the fair format for like as far as what makes a fair competition. Right. As far as what makes a good product. For people no. that don't know yeah. what we're talking about, it's um if you the, the the way this works is you play a best of three. If the winner bracket finalist wins, then he won. If the loser yeah. bracket finalist wins. Then you play another best of three, yeah. and whoever wins that. So you have to win two best of threes if you come from below. There's a very high chance it flops. We actually did that for the first one we ran, the like back in before TI2. We had the Gigabyte Dota Masters. We had yeah, that format. Yeah, yeah. And we had an epic finals where it was Zenith coming from the low bracket. They won the f they won the first BO3. No, Zenith won the winning bracket. It was LGD, I think, coming from the low bracket. They won the first one 2-0, and then Zenith won like the second BO3 2-1. So it was oh, like wow. So best really possible close. scenario. Yeah, yeah. Where it went five games out of possible six, and... You actually got to the second BO3. Is she happy? I don't know. She's, I don't think she's secret. smiling or not. I think she's a secret. She's, she's, she's a secret. What's that secret. character from... She's a secret fan straight. Fan straight or... <laughs> fan girl. <laughs> fan girl, who knows. What's the character from Mortal Kombat that had a veil like that and you take it off and it's uh, scary There were face? way too many. No, there Rep was only one that had the scary face. Uh, reptile? It was a woman. Oh, woman, Kitana and Milena. Milena was... Milena. Uh, Milena was... Milena. Uh, um, yes. And there was Jade as well, which was the green one. Kitana was uh, the one with uh, the blue one. There's going to be a Mortal Kombat 10, apparently. Boy. That's a lot of Mortal Kombat. I stopped I playing know, at right? 4, personally. Uh, yeah, 4 was weird. It had weapons. No, that was... Weapon. That was 4. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, that was 4. It was MK1, 2, 3, 3 Ultimate, which had, like, everything from all the yeah. other Mortal Kombat. And then 4 changed the engine. It was 3D with weapons. Uh, yeah, they had 3. I don't remember weapons yeah. at 4, though. I thought that was after. No, it had weapons. I, it I didn't like the weapons, then. It was weird. Weapons, yeah. are, weapons are weird. 
it kind of destroy the the theme of the game. The also 3D destroy yeah. it too. The the yeah, I like the the friendship and babality, some brutalities and <laughs> Those that weird thing. Babality, it's like okay, you can turn him into a baby. How is, is that, that a thing? thing? And then that was the thing in Mortal Kombat. Instead of like when you finish him and you can yep. like make a fatality or something, you enter a sequ sequence of comments and you turn him into a baby. Okay. Or with a friendship, you gave him a gift. Fatalities are still the best. Fatalities rock. Yeah. They had some really good ones. Mm -hmm. We're going to go into a break right now. When we come back, we will have the first of the last two games. That's a good yep. way to put it. Uh, it's going to be Rave, the dark horse of the tournament, the surprise of the tournament, facing, facing the big gods of Burning and Company. See you in a bit.